What is happening guys and welcome to another tutorial for Unity 3D or f 4, I forget which version we're on but we are going to be creating a MOBA as you already know and uh, this is what a game looks like kind of so far but we are going to clear things up a bit and make a nice con oh my god I, c I get the hiccups sorry guys uh, make the connection actually work. So I've done this about twice already and the audio wasn't recording so I'm gonna make this as quick as possible because I'm getting a bit frustrated <laughs> but that's okay. So the first thing we need to know is that last time we had this here. It was state equals one. Okay and I had left that in there so that when we've clicked connect um, then it'll say we're connected to the server. That's not entirely true because when this function is called we're not actually connected to the server itself. We are trying to connect to the server as is here. Connect to best cloud server. I mean, if there is no server and the state gets changed to one, then it's going to say connected and we're not actually connected to anything. We're mumbling around God knows where. So I took that out and then I realized that we need to actually say, how do we know when we're connected to the server? Well, there is a function called um, on... Oh, uh, wait, hang on. It's on lobby joined, I believe. I'm not too fluent with the terminology, um, but I believe that that's it. Um, so, on lobby joined, wrong. It's on joined lobby. Ah, getting tricky now, are we? So, on joined lobby. So, once we've actually joined the lobby, then the state can be set to one which says we're connected to the server and this is proof because we have gone connected and we get send a message back saying hey you've joined a lobby and i was like oh thank god let's change the state to that we're connected so tell everybody that we're connected so hopefully that makes sense now there's another thing though once you are connected to a lobby how do you get into a game right now you're on a server and you're on a server with the best connection so you'll be paired up with people from australia if you're australian or or, or you know and uh, God knows where you'd have a decent ping, I hope. Um, but we need to actually join a place. And, and, and we need to join a room. And the only way to join a room is, to say, here. We'll make a GUI button that says um, something like search. Now, search is very good because we are making a MOBA. And we want to be able to find a game with other people and it's usually random, you don't usually get to pick who you're paired up with, but assuming that there's different different game types, you can have search, uh, let's say TDM, um, I know this is a MOBA and Team Deathmatch isn't really in it, but TDM and um, or whatever you want, you just put that in the search bar, and it's just a way to tell people, hey, you know what you're actually doing, you're searching for a bloody game, and it makes it a lot easier for the user. So, when we want to search, we want to call this Photon Network uh, dot, uh, what is it, uh, join random, join random room, and we'll close that off there, and then we say, okay, so we'll join a random room. So, what we're trying to do is find a room that's on the server, oh, sorry, that's in our lobby, we'll find a room that's in our lobby, and we'll join it if there's space available. But how do we know that there are rooms in the lobbies? Wow, that's a good question. We need to call upon the gods. Well, no, we need to call upon uh, something. It's, it's what's it? Uh, on photon. Okay, oh shit. Photon random join fail. I believe. Again, I'm not too sure. That sounds right, anyway. So, what this says is that when we fail to join a random room, like, there's no rooms available, what do we do? Well, we want to create a room, don't we? Photon network dot create room, and we'll call that room null for now. It needs to be given a room name, so that's the only reason, but null is kind of doesn't count for some reason doesn't really matter. So we're saying, okay, so we can't find a room. Let's create a room because you've never searched for a game and it says, sorry, no one's playing the game. Well, somebody has to be playing, you know, someone has to create a room. I mean, if you have the option, create room or join room and everyone clicks join room and no one's creating room, then you have, you know, people who can go create, okay, there's no rooms available. I'll create one. But I mean, seriously, if 
because like you search for a game, there's no games available, but nobody can create a game because yeah. My point is, we create a room once we've failed to join it, and when we create the room, there's another function that gets called. It's called void on uh, jo uh on joined lobby, I believe. In fact, there's a way that I can check this. The best way to do this is actually go on the website and check it on um, some of the um, the actual page for Photon uh, Networking. And it tells you every single thing you need to know. Why I'm not using this for everything, I, I, I don't know. So, yeah, here we go. Here's some functions. Join random room. Fails and fails. Yes, on Photon Join. Failed. Uh, create room. And it will be on on joined room. So yeah, that should all that should all be neat and dandy, landy. Ha! Huh, on join lobby. On why is it no? I want on join room. On joined room or on join room? I'm not too sure. We'll test it out. So when we actually join a room. Uh, by clicking that, we join a room. We want to go into, um, like every MOBA has champion select, right? So, we want to create a case. Uh, will be case 2, and we'll call this case. Um, we'll go champion select. And basically, the only thing we need in here is to say, hey, select your champion and a button. It's the exact same as the previous two cases. We want to say... You are now on champion select. Uh, we'll have a character called. Uh, I used Roger last time. I'll use uh, I'll use Blake. There we go. Oh no, just Tim. How about Tim? Tim sounds good. So we create Tim. All right, and he's created from a button, and we want Tim to be down. Let's say seventy, and we'll have this GUI label here. We'll just copy that across, eh? And we'll say here in this one, select your champion. Select your champ peon. Um, and we'll just make that 200, just so it fits. So we have select your champion. Can you please scroll down? Oh my god, something is so wrong with my mono develop. Select your champion, and we have this option, Tim. And within the option, Tim, we want to call another function, which is spawn. Okay, it's n hasn't been created. Actually, what the hell? Okay, so I think I should create it first. So down here, uh, um, yeah, down here that we will go void and we'll go spawn. We've created a function called spawn, and within that function, when you spawn, you need to know two things. You need to know which team you're on, and you need to know. Um, which character you are. So we're going to have those. The team will use, let's say, int, and we'll just call that team. So the team will either be 0 or 1. We'll say 0 is red, 1 is blue, for example. Um, and the other one you want is a string, which is the character name. So we'll go character. So we know which team you're on, and we know which character you are. And this will pretty much determine everything you need for your spawn. And whatever happens here, it doesn't really matter. But th the the problem is, is that once we've clicked this, we go to spawn. Let's say here we'll call spawn, and we need two things. We give the uh, team, for example, we'll just go zero right there, and the uh, character is of course called Tim. No, not time. Tim. God Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> naturally typed the time there. Anyway, so we spawn and it calls it with zero and Tim, uh, which will basically be here. So what we can do right now is debug it, uh, debug dot log, and we will say, in in this log we'll say, you are on team uh, dot dot dot, and then we'll have plus team. It's not too hard. Um, and we'll go bam bam and we'll go full stop. Uh, and are playing as. Um, we'll go space and we'll go plus and then we'll go character. Character. Done. 
So pretty much our debug is going to say all of that stuff. But the one thing that we need to do is get rid of this champion select or else we'll sp spawn Tim a million times because the button will remain there. So what we can do is go case 3 and we'll call this case um, in game. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah, in game pretty much. And we'll break that. And we don't want to put anything in here because in game, the game manager is not managing anything in game. He is just managing our spawn. So this really should be called Network Manager. And I apologize for that in advance. Um, telling you to call it the wrong thing. But uh, whichever way works, you can call it whatever you want. It all works. And we want to change the state to equals 3. Let's say. State equals 3. Yes, this all looks pretty good. Um, so far. Oh, aha. Okay, so. On join room, we need to change the state to the champion select state, which is state 2. Um, that looks pretty good so far. Just let me scroll up and take a look at this. It should all work, and if it doesn't, I mean, that's fine. We can always fix it. But I will end the video here if it does. Connect. Yummy. Search. Yummy! And oh, now we can select Tim. And if we select Tim, there we go, it calls it. We, we've we spawned, you are on Team Zero, and are playing as Tim. Now that is brilliant. The whole thing has worked. That is amazing, and I thank God I finally got this bloody episode done. Um, so I'll leave you now, just so you don't need to watch um, hours and hours of um, videos to try and get your thing done. Um, but hopefully that explains a bit more about C Sharp and it makes you a bit more fluent in it. And thank you very much for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. If this didn't, leave a comment. Dislikes are uh, also welcome, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Share with your friends. Uh, if they're game devs or if you aspire to be a game dev, you know, don't give up. Actually, I'm just going to stop the video here because that's just stupid. See ya. Thank you very much.